So in July uh, 2021, we launched a permanent shoe waste recycling ecosystem in Singapore. And to date, in for, after 14 months, we have collected almost 170,000 kilogram of shoes. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, when I met Fadli uh, uh, in December, we mooted the idea again, what about convert, doing the project in, in Malaysia? And this particular playground that you saw be, uh, behind us was a muddy grass patch which was badly damaged by the flood. So we suggested to the principal, uh, what about doing a playground that make from recycled shoe and send the message that recycling and circular economy is the way to go to protect our climate, if you're able to do that. And here we are today, we have a, a real playground that is made from recycled shoe. In the, in the hierarchy of waste management, we always say this, first, if you can, refuse to use. If you cannot refuse to use, you reduce the usage. If you cannot reduce, can you reuse the material? And this is essentially you re, you're reusing the material before you burn it and you landfill it, right? So the project that we partner, um, Econize and LLCM, is fantastic because it allows Malaysians to uh, an opportunity to be to partake in the in the project and donate their used shoes, donate their used shoes, and um, uh, and convert that into uh, into sports infrastructure like this. Lifeline Clothing Malaysia is a, a collector of textiles and has facilities for people to donate textiles within Malaysia, and we also have the uh, facilities for collecting running shoes so that they can be converted into. Uh, the playground surfaces and sports running tracks. So our involvement is to partner with Dow, who have the technology and the expertise in how to do the job properly, so that between the two of us and with Eco Knights as the advocacy for environmental change, to be able to talk to people about why we need to move from a linear economy to a circular economy. I'm sure everyone has a pair of old shoes or slipper that they have used and they cannot be used anymore. So what you need to do is to find uh, the collection points, just this bin, you can just drop it inside. Simple as that. So what happens to it? Once you have um, sent it for recycling or send it to donate, the shoes will be collected by our partner, Lifeline Clothing Malaysia, and then they will send it to, uh, it will be sent to a grinding facility. So in the grinding facility at the moment in Singapore, what, they ha what happened is that they will grind it, into what we call as a granules. So this is a granule based on the um, material that we sent. Number one is rubber and second is also some part of the uh, fabric. Yeah. So one is turned into this. So next they will use uh, a binding technology to compress it or to mold it into something like this. Right? You can see it's almost the same. Right? But it's already made into blocks and mold. And after that, they will make it into a um, playground surfaces or sports facilities. You can see be underneath is um, um, a different type. And then on top of it is this actually. And then it's coloured in whatever colour that, that, that they desire. So this will be made into the uh, playground surfaces, uh, sports facilities, uh, fitness corners and so on and so forth. If you look at here, it's the same as well. This is actually a yoga mat, right? Uh, or like a gym mat that you can use. So inside here, it's actually the same. It's this material where once you have this and then you can, you know, customize it into a mat where you can use for gym, for, you know, mixed martial art, um, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, any type of uh, gym usage. So this is actually very good for, um, you know, the repurposing of the of the old shoes that you just see.